We've been in the city for a little over two years now. Nashville is still pretty small for a city, but it's the biggest city I've ever lived in. It feels strange though, because in about two weeks, we'll be moving. Not to another city, but just south to the suburbs. Even that short distance feels like being a world away. And with being a world away, it comes with leaving a world behind. The life we've built here over the last few years has been one of slow growth, routine, and little moments of happiness spread throughout the day. It was here where we started dating, got engaged, and called home when we got married. While I'm excited for a new start, it has me a little bit nostalgic about the things I'll miss from the city. So I guess this is a goodbye to Nashville. A love letter to the city, if you will. Here are a few of the things I'll miss. Our daily trip to Starbucks isn't just an excuse to get a fun drink, but it's how we start our day, every day. May I please have a grande strawberry acai with lemonade and light ice? It centers me and makes me feel like I can take on anything that day. I love a sweet treat. The pickleball courts at Centennial have become pretty much a sanctuary for me. I come back here every Monday and Wednesday, especially after sitting at a desk all day Getting to be out in the sun and just move around really, really helps my mood. It's been nice to do something where I can see how far I've come from all of the time I've put into it. I genuinely, as weird as it sounds, have become a better pickleball player because I play so much. And that's kind of rewarding for me. The view through our window will definitely be missed. Whether it was at night or during the day, just getting to look out always felt like a little bit of a magical moment. I never thought I'd be in a place where I could live and see the skyline like that. So it just kind of felt peaceful and like something I'd always dreamed of. Lunchtime breaks are some of my favorite times of the day because we live so close to the office that I can just drive home every day to see Abby. We'll eat super quick and then use the rest of the time to lay down and cuddle on the couch. It's always one of the best parts of my day. I will miss that a lot. As someone who's moved 20 times, this is the first place that I'm actually sad to leave behind. A majority of the memories here were positive, and when I think back on them, I smile. So I'm thankful for our time here. But I'm also really excited for the season to come. And with that being said, it's about time we say goodbye to the city. If you're still here, I don't know why you're here, but I appreciate it. And you should consider subscribing and liking and sharing the video because that helps a lot. And it's just good encouragement to keep making these videos. So yeah, thanks for watching.